Daniel Ricciardo reveals F1 driving options for 2023. So we're going to be getting through that in today's video, but make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hitting that red button down below. But let's get straight into today's story. The prospect of the 2023 Formula Grid not featuring Daniel Ricciardo is difficult to fathom. Fortunately, it's not just a hard sell of the average F1 fan. Several teams are also sure the eight-time race winner has more to give to Motorsport Premier Series. In the wake of a persistent rumors that Mark Webber was lining up Oscar Piastri to snatch Ricardo's seat from underneath him in 2023, rival teams have been probing the availability of the affable 33-year-old for his next chapter, as many as four rival constructors have sounded out Ricardo per ESPN in the weeks leading up to McLaren reportedly issuing him its intention to break his contract, deducing which teams ought to be simple case of arithmetic. Before Fernando Alonso's bombshell move, there were six teams with possible vacancies. Vacancies: Alpine, Alfa Romeo, Haas, Alfa Tori, Aston Martin, and William. Alpine assumed it wouldn't be going to market given it thought it had Piastri in the books as fallback for Alonso, reducing the list to five. Alfa Tori is also moving closer to re-signing Yuki Tsunoda, who Franz Toss wants to give a third season to establish himself. Anyway, signing a 33-year-old Ricardo also doesn't click with what's supposed to be Red Bull's development team. Four teams remaining. Aston Martin has also removed itself from the list, but with Alpine seemingly sure to need new blood, the group possible suitors is stable at four, including Haas, Alfa Romeo, and Williams. So which is most likely to be seriously pitching for Ricardo's services, and which has the best chance of attracting his attention? Alpine is unlikely to have among the teams to have reached out to Ricardo before the Hungarian Grand Prix, given it was certain to the point of complacency that Alonso would re-sign, and it assumed in the unlikely likely event of the Spaniard left, Oscar Priastri would be aligned to replace him. But you can guarantee that the French team have reached out in the weeks since the driver market kicked into gear and it's the obvious front runner for Ricardo's services. Alpine is the highest placed team in the constructor standings with an availability. In fact, it's a place ahead of McLaren, occupying fourth with a four point margin. So it will represent a step forwards on the grid, even if that step would be most imperfectly simple. So. I think it is honestly fantastic that Alpine is looking to offer Ricardo a contract. I think they are honestly a perfect fit. And, you know, it makes me a fan of Alpine to give, you know, Ricardo another chance, especially with McLaren really not treating him right with all the things that have been going on. So the team is also on a hiring spree to match the workforce size of the front runners and having undertaken some capital works to upgrade its factory. It's well placed to maximize its budget cap allocation in the coming seasons. Alpine also has a weak bargaining hand given it's now 35 races deep into a 100 race plan to be regular podium getter. Esteban Ocon is credible enough but really the team needs a high caliber spearhead but there's no one on the market who comes close to Ricardo's potential or brain value. And then there's a certain unquantifiable appeal for both sides. On one that neither would admit to, to although stranger things have happened that they've been united by a common adversary. Both would be surely be keen to defeat McLaren in a straight fight and they're each other's best chance of doing so so i think it's honestly fantastic would love to see ricardo especially being an aussie myself would love to see him race for someone like alpine but if anyone else is willing to offer him a contract i think that would be great as well so when it comes to daniel ricardo he's actually seeking a 21 million f1 payout from mclaren so daniel ricardo has asked for an eight figure payout in exchange for the early termination of his formula one contract with mclaren the australian has unwittingly become embroiled in the oscar Piastri contract saga and looks set to lose his drive at the papaya operation in favor of his young countrymen. It's understood Ricardo is the only party to have the right to cancel his contract extension, which runs until the end of next year. Multiple sources have revealed the West Aussie's initial asking price is 21 million, though it is expected to be reduced as the team haggles over price. It's likely also that should Ricardo secure a drive elsewhere next season, any salary component he receives would see the same value refunded to McLaren. For example, should he receive 10 million from Alpine for 2023, Ricardo will be required to refund McLaren 10 million of whatever settlement figure may finally be agreed upon. However, it is also possible that McLaren will also be on the hook for any legal costs Piastri incurs as a result of the current situation. The Melbourneian is the central figure in the 
dispute between Alpine and McLaren over his services. With the latter seemingly holding the overriding contract, it's believed Alpine does not hold a valid Formula 1 contract, explaining why McLaren was able to lodge its with Contract Recognition Board without conflict. That further suggests that any contract in place with Piastri, likely therefore to be with the Alpine Academy, could be pursued through the presumably French civil legal system, a point team principle uh, that Otmar has suggested he would likely explore. In that instance, it's probably that an indemnity clause in the deal with McLaren would see any costs incurred pass from Piastri to McLaren. On that front, a figure as high as 50 million have been suggested, which combined with the payout to Ricardo could see the 21-year-old's arrival at working costs well over 30 million. That is, if the matter goes that far, and the Australian is found in some way liable for the costs incurred by Alpine. And of that, there is currently no certainty. The situation rises the question of why McLaren is prepared to stump up a significant sum to end its relationship with Ricardo and potentially be on the hook for another Piastri. So when it comes to all this, Alpine is open to Daniel Ricardo for return of 2023 like we talked about and the F1 summer break is here and while we're still way a while away from the next race in Belgium at the end of the month, we've certainly been treated to a fair few headlines. Indeed, the situation involving Daniel Ricardo and Piastri is certainly proving dramatic with it being reported that McLaren have now informed their current Aussie that he is going to to be replaced. Alpine, of course, believe that Piastri should be diving for, with them for 2023, following the exit of Fernando Alonso to Aston Martin for next season. But if he is at McLaren next year, then they will need a new driver to partner Esteban Ocon and maybe could go back to a former employee. And I think this would honestly be a match made in heaven. Asked by Autosport if they've interested in bringing Daniel Ricciardo back to the team, Alpine team principal Otmar said, I mean, if you look at Fernando, for example, he comes and goes. I think that happens to other drivers too. And I don't think that's an issue at all. I think what we need to focus on is, like I say, the plans that we have for the next 89, 88 races. We've got to make sure that we complement that plan with the best driver that we can. And there are some options out there for us. And we put the best driver in next to Esteban Ocon so that we can move forward that what we're planning. So I think it honestly is great. I think Ricardo and Ocon would honestly get along very, very well. And I think it would be a match made in heaven when it comes to those two. So when it comes to all this, the Aussie driver himself, Daniel Ricciardo, has actually finally spoken out. He has done his best to ignore the talk of the motorsport world after posting a photo of himself, enjoying his holiday without mentioning the drama involving Piastri. Piastri sent Formula One into a spin last week when he announced he would not be driving for Alpine next year, despite the motorsport team appearing to announce that he would be elevated to a driving seat. Alpine supported the young Melbourne driver's junior career as he won F3, F2 championships in 2020 and 2021. But we're also hit with the double blow as Fernando Alonso jumped ship to Aston Martin. Piastri's decision sparked speculation that he could be on his way to McLaren. This would see him place veteran Daniel Ricciardo as the second driver in the team. McLaren have both Ricciardo and Lando Norris under contract for 2023, with the British team likely to have pay out the remainder of the underperforming Ricciardo's contract if they decide to pursue other options. Regardless of the reports, Ricciardo has been praised for how he has dealt with the drama, and Ricciardo remained his upbeat self and appeared to ignore the swirling speculation while on holiday. The Australian posted a photo of himself from what appeared to be his California base with the caption, Hello. Ricardo was clearly enjoying his time in the sun. So, Daniel Ricardo really hasn't made it known on what is actually going on and what he thinks about the whole situation, and Ricardo has a contract until the end of 2023 and recently indicated he had no intention of leaving the team where he was determined to see out the deal. And I think this is honestly kind of sad to see. I think Ricardo was really enjoying McLaren and what was happening over there, and if his exit from McLaren is to be confirmed, it looks as though that the team will have to agree to pay the Aussie driver out of his contract in order for him to walk away at the end of the season. The 30 the three-year-old was signed from Renault at the end of 2020, but apart from winning last year's Italian Grand Prix against the Oz, had failed to live up to the expectations at the Formula Champions. Ricardo has battled through a tough year with McLaren in 2022, sitting at 12th in the champion ladder. He had picked up four top 10 finishes and sits on 19 points. His last top 10 finish was the French Grand Prix, where he came in at 9th. 
Regardless of the speculation, Ricardo has been praised for how he has dealt with all the encompassing drama. The saga started with Alpine announced Piastri as their 2023 driver, but the announcement was quickly rejected from the Aussie. I understand that without any agreement, Alpine F1 have put out a press release late this afternoon that I'm driving for them next year, Piastri said in a statement that promptly went viral. This is wrong and I've not signed the contract for Alpine for 2023. I will not be driving for Alpine next year, adding to the intro Alpine's team principal this week commented on the possibility of Ricardo returning to the French team which we talked about earlier and I think that is honestly fantastic. Now when it comes to my opinion of the whole topic and what is really going on, I think you know McLaren really haven't treated Daniel Ricardo well. You probably have watched the series Drive to Survive before but also just seeing how they've handled the situation. I feel like Ricardo could really use a lot of help especially coming or bouncing back from a tough season last year and I think he really does need that push needs that confidence boost in order for him to really be a great driver and i don't think mclaren have really offered that to him but that's just my opinion and i do want to hear your comments on it on what you guys have to say now when it comes to him going to alpine i think that is honestly a perfect fit and it's actually a benefit to daniel ricardo because as you all know even though it is a small lead alpine is actually ahead of mclaren in the constructors so it actually put him in a better position moving forward i think alpine is a great team they know what they're doing they've had great drivers and for them to actually be in that fourth spot i think surprised a lot of people um, especially against someone like mclaren you know alpine don't have the biggest budget or anything like that yet they're putting up some great numbers especially against a team like mclaren so it's great to see what they have done so far i uh, hopefully it continues to get better and better and i think uh you know daniel ricardo will really flourish if he decides to move to alpine and really go from there but let me know down in the comments what you think guys i want to say thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you did enjoy and uh yeah guys i'll basically i'll uh, see you soon peace